Hi friends, it's Anne here, and today's video is part three of my makeup inventory video. So this part of my makeup inventory is my lip products. I decided to film this part separately uh, for my eye products. Last year I did eye and lip products together. This year just, I didn't have enough time to be honest, and I was getting tired um, to fit the two together. I also felt like the eye products video was getting kind of long and I felt like it was fine to just split this out. And I kind of wanted to take my time with this category a little bit. What I want to do this time around is do some swatching as well. I think I did swatches last year. I don't know if I did swatches with my lip products last year, but I know I did swatches with like eye products. But I kind of want to do some sort of organized swatches. I want to see what I have in sort of different color families, if that makes sense. Um, sort of for my, for my own benefit, kind of see if I have any duplicates. Um, I want to think about, um, I'm kind of thinking about what's logical to pan as well. So that's kind of part of my thought process in this video. So this video might be longer than it needs to be, <laughs> um, but it's not going to be as long as, I, at least I'm saying this now, but who knows, it won't be as long as the other two parts of my makeup inventory. So here we are starting with lip balms. I do consider lip balms part of my makeup inventory, mostly because it's a category that can go out of control. <laughs> um, so I, I prefer to keep it with, or include it with my makeup inventory and count it as part of my makeup inventory. And also, I mean, I do use lip balm before I put makeup on or sometimes under specific lip products. So it's, it's, part, of, it's part of it for me. Um, so, Lip balm, so these are all my like regular lip balms. There's no tint to these, they're not lip masks. Um, potted ones, regular sort of stick ones. I'm pretty proud of myself on this category, if I do say so myself. Mostly downhill from here on this, but this is a category that I've really been working on to not buy new lip balms and work through the collection that I do have. Um, this one, so I have the Smith's Rosebud Solve, this one is you know, on its way out, I am working on that one. This is the newest one that I have. Everything else here is pretty old, um, or old-ish. I'd say that's maybe newish too. So South Main, this is the newest one. I don't know if I put a date on this. No, I didn't. So this one, I think I got last year. Um, this was in either a Lux box or a Tribe box. And then I have this Lip, Med Lip Medics from Blistex. I really do quite like these, but they're pretty intense. Um, I have the Nova Scotia Fisherman Extreme Lip Care. I actually have two of these, so one of them you don't see here because it's in my car. Um, they're kind of intense in terms of their scent profile, flavor profile, whatever you call it. Um, not sure I love them all that much, um, but they're a good lip balm in terms of the actual balm itself. Um, I have this Burt's Bees one that's in strawberry. I have a Avon lip balm. I have this lip balm that's kind of an awkward, weird one. I think it's Foria. Um, this was handed out, I want to say at a pride parade. So that's how old this is because we haven't had pride in like two years. Um, it's a hemp lip oil. Then I have the Nivea Hydro Care lip oil that I'm working on in my project pan. And then I have this Jouer, I don't know what they call it. It's just like a lip, it's natural. I don't know, it's just a lip balm. Um, None of these have tints. Uh, they're all just regular plain lip balms. So numbers wise, again, pretty proud of myself on this one. In 2020, I had 15. In 2021, I had 11. And then in 2022, I have 10. Um, again, one of these is missing. It's down in my car. So pretty proud of myself on that. I, would, I do want to mention, I did have an SPF, a Blistex uh, lip balm like this that had SPF in it. I've lost that. I don't know if I still have that or not. <laughs> I haven't been able to find it since I lost it um, last summer, I wanna say. Um, so maybe it's gone, gone. If I do come across it, it's definitely gonna be tossed because I feel like, I'm pretty sure it's a few years old now. So the purpose of the SPF is, it's not gonna be effective, I don't think, at this point. So it's not one that I would wanna keep around. I would say that's the only thing missing from here is I don't have a good, SPF lip balm. So that's potentially one that I will buy at some point, uh, maybe this summer. Again, I feel like this category is one that I've been working on to make sure it doesn't get out of control. I'm not even sure like when I first started my channel if this was considered a category. I don't think I had any lip masks back then. Um, but anyway, we have these three. So the Bite, two of the Bite Agave lip masks. This is the one that's in my Lip Project Pan right now. And then I have a Burt's Bees I think they just call this 
They call this the overnight intensive lip treatment. I've used it a little bit, um, but you can see it's pretty full if the camera wants to focus. So for lip masks, in 2020 I had five, in 2021 I had four, and in 2022 I have three. So again, another category that is moving on down. I think from here on out, that might be it. <laughs> Lip oils. Again, this is a category I'm trying to sort of keep under control because I feel like lip oils tend to go bad. I feel like they don't last very long, so I don't want to get too many because I don't want them to go bad on me. Um, I did have two julep ones go bad on me, although to be fair, I didn't really care for them when I first got them, so they kind of languished in my collection and I just let them, kind of let them go without using them. So anyway, these are again kind of like older to newer. I'm not sure within these three what I got first, but this is the oldest one I have. Um, so I have two NYX, this is everything lip glosses. And this one is in the shade Sheer Blush, and this one is in the shade Sheer Berry. I have this Chapstick Total Hydration uh, Vitamin Enriched Lip Oil in Sweet Nectar. Then I have the Elf Tinted Lip Oil in Nude Kiss. And then I have this Merit Lip Oil in O Natural, I think. Okay, and I thought I'd do some lips, or I keep saying lip swatches. If I keep saying that, I'm wrong. These are hand swatches. These are not my lips. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but I want to do some swatches of these because they do have tints to them. So that is the Sheer Berry NYX. Uh, this is Everything Lip Oil, or sorry, that's Sheer Blush. This one is Sheer Berry. Um, that's the chapstick one. It, it actually doesn't have any color to it at all. This is the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in Nude Kiss. I really quite enjoy that color. Um, and then this is the Merit Lip Oil in O Natural. So you can see they're all a little different, um, which I don't mind. I prefer, if I'm gonna have five lip oils, then I would appreciate that they are not like duplicates of each other, if that makes sense. So for numbers, um, in lip oils, in 2020 I had two, in 2021 I had four, and in 2022 I have five. This category is what I'm calling tinted lip balms. So these are, are just lip tints, um, not tinted lip balms, lip tints. So they're tinted lip balms, things that are classified as a lip tint. Um, yeah, they're basically sort of sheerish type products. I do have other lipstick products that are kind of sheer. Um, so this is kind of like, we'll get into some sort of products that sort of like toe, or not toe the line, sit on the line between two different categories. Um, one in particular that I'm thinking of is this one, like the Tower 28. It's actually fairly pigmented, but they call it a tinted lip balm. So I'm putting it in this category. I know I also have like another NARS lipstick that's very sheer. Um, I also have like a L'Oreal lipstick that's fairly sheer. But anyway, these are what I'm calling sort of lip tints or tinted lip balms. And I've tried to sort of organize them in sort of like color order. These ones are sort of the lighter colors and then these ones are sort of the deeper colors. So they're not really in order of oldest to newest. So the first one I have is this Dior Lip Glow. Um, this is just like the, the regular lip balm. This is in 001 Pink. These two are really old and I'm not sure I'm gonna keep them in my collection anymore. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use them. They were my mom's, um, but they seem fine. Like they smell fine, they perform fine. They're I think called the Revlon Super Lustrous Shiny Lip Color. I'm not in frame at all. This one is in the shade Honey Drizzle. And this one is in like, I don't know what the name of this one is. It's like a pink one. Pink Cognito looks a little brighter than what it actually is because it's pretty sheer. Then I have this Tower 28 Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Mix. Again, this kind of looks a little bit deep when you look at it, but it's not really that deep. It's pretty, it's more of a lighter color. Again, I'll do some swatches of all these together. I have the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Laguna. This was in the birthday kit from last year. This is a product that I have to <laughs> not by all the shades. I really like this product. Um, 
I have two of them, which I'm pretty happy about. Both I got in kits. This is the Misha, uh, what do they call it? Wish Stone Tint Velvet. Um, don't know the actual shade name of this. I'll put it on the screen. It's an interesting product. Don't have anything else like this. I'm not sure I love this. It's the only tint that I have, or lip tint, that's sort of that like velvet blurring matte kind of one, um, but it's pretty bright color. Um, curious to try more of these types of products, um, but at the same time, I'm not sure I love this, so I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of in offense. I don't know if it's just a, a color issue or if it's a formula issue. So this is the full size NARS um, Afterglow Lip Balm, and this is in Orgasm. This is the CoverGirl Nature Lux. Uh, I don't know the full name of this. What does it say? Gloss Balm, and this is in the shade Muscat. I had two of those. I did use one. Did I finish it? I can't remember if I finished it fully, but it's gone. Um, this is Clinique in Black Cherry. This is not a full size, I don't think. I think this is a deluxe size. But it's pretty big. <laughs> or a deluxe size. This is the Rome and Glasting Water Tint in 05 Rose Splash. And then I have two of these Burt's Bees um, Lip Shimmers in Rhubarb. I really like this. <laughs> I'll talk about this more in my lip. Uh, project pan because this is in my lip project pan right now. I'm still torn about like keeping this or getting rid of it. Um, I'm just gonna say I do really like it. I just, the, the color is finicky. It's pretty pigmented and it's a bit finicky. That, that's the best way I can say it. But yeah, I have two of those. Um, this one's actually not even open. Okay, here we are with some swatches. So this one's really hard to see. That's the Dior lip whatever you call it, Lip Addict in pink. These are the two Revlon ones. I'm gonna make an executive decision right now because I think I'm gonna get rid of them. Well, I'm not getting rid of them, getting rid of them because they were my mom's, but they're going out of the collection. If you can see, this one is the one in Honey Drizzle. This is NARS Laguna. They're very, very similar, obviously. This is the Revlon, um, Sorry if I keep going out of focus. This is the Revlon thing in Pink Cognito. This is the NARS one in Orgasm. Again, that's a lot brighter, but if anything, I'm probably gonna wear this one more. So interesting that sort of the NARS ones duped the L'Oreal ones. So I think I think that's enough for me to be like, it's okay to not, I don't have to use those two Revlon ones. Um, so I'm going to pull those out. This is the Tower 28 one. Love that color. It's so nice. That's another product that, even though I have a bajillion things in my lip collection, it's one that I would keep pulling out. Like, it's one that I definitely am gravitated towards and I want to use over everything else. And I feel like that speaks, speaks volumes. Um, again, these two are the NARS, NARS ones. That's Laguna. That's Orgasm. This is the Mish. Mish. Misha Wish Stone Lip Tint. This is the CoverGirl Muscat. You can't get that anymore, unfortunately. It was a nice product, too. This is Clinique in Black Honey. This is the Romand Rose Splash Lip Tint. And then this is the Lip Shimmer in Rhubarb from Burt's Bees. So those are all the swatches of my lip tints. So now that I've decided to take those two out, my numbers are a little different, but let's talk about numbers. So in 2020, I had nine lip tints. In 2021, I had eight. And then now in 2022, I have 10. So we've gone up a little, but not a whole lot. So I'm not too stressed about that. But again, I've got to keep myself in check because this is a category that I do want to buy some products that would fit into this. So like I said, I really like these NARS ones. I would definitely want to buy other shades in that. I've been looking at, what is it, the Makeup by Mario one. That I think that product would fit in this category as like a tinted lip balm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a category that I've got to be careful with because I could get out of control. I need to make sure I'm using what I have before adding more um, because it's one that, again, like I say, there's certain categories where I, I don't mind adding something or I, I'm very conscious of adding. This is one where 
I could just be like, oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. Kind of like lip gloss. <laughs> There's certain categories where it's like, I know I go through them. I use them. I don't go through them nearly as fast as I think I do. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm trying to be very careful with my lip products. I've been saying this for years. I think my first lip video, lip product video was like, I have too many lip products. <laughs> so, and I've kind of kept around the same number since then, um, which has been an effort <laughs> to be honest, um, that it hasn't exploded to something much higher because Again, I love lip products. We know this. Anyway, let's talk about total numbers. So I do like to add up sort of the total of my lip balms, my lip oils, my lip masks, and my lip tints, because those are all sort of the like, not super makeup-y lip type products. So in 2020, I had 31 lip balms, lip oils, lip masks, or lip, lip tints. In 2021, I had 27. So I went down, yay. Um, and then 2022, I have 28. So I'm not, I'm not stressed about that at all. I'm actually quite happy. I've only gone up by one since last year in this category, which I feel like, yay, a little pat on the back for me. Proud of myself for keeping this sort of section fairly reined in for me. Here we are with all of the lip glosses. Um, again, I feel like some products sort of straddle the line, particularly between like the tinted lip balm area um, and this area. There's a couple that I'm like, uh, they're kind of close. And there's a couple of these that are so pigmented that they could be considered almost like a liquefied lip because they're so pigmented. But anyway, this is what I've broken down into my lip glosses. I've got sort of like the clearer ones here, the pink ones here, the nude beiges here, and then these ones are like more colorful or more pigmented. I mean, some of these are a bit pigmented too, but these ones are a bit more intense. At least I did some real quick swatching on my hand to try and figure that out. So let's go through these. So I have the Ofra Lip Gloss in Millie. This is from the Samantha, Samantha, Samantha March uh, PR collection, her first one. I have this mini from Patrick Ta in She's Expensive, which the camera does not want to focus on. <laughs> I have this uh, mini Too Faced Lip Injection. Uh, I think this is just a sheer shade. I don't know if that is a name. This is a clear gloss from Rimmel. It's the vinyl gloss. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Snow Pink. This is the old packaging. This is same product, but in Sandstorm, and this is in the new packaging. This is a ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss in Partly Rowdy. This product's getting kind of old. This is a Urban Decay Special Effects Vice Lip Product in Fever. This came in a lip kit. This is the Revlon uh, Kiss Pumping Lip Cream in 525 Barely Blush. This is a product that I haven't been categor categorizing properly, so I'm doing it now. I am counting the lip gloss separate from the lipstick. It's a double-sided product from Tarte. Um, it's the Tarte Lip Sculptor in the shade Sassy. So I'm counting the lip gloss here, and then this product will come back when I talk about lipstick bullets. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. This is the Bite Yay Sayer Lip Gloss in the shade Guava Puff. This is the Sephora Glossy Gloss in the shade Berry Shake. This is the Essence Plumping Lip Gloss in 04, that's big. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. This is the third one I have. This is in Supernatural. I did have Rosy Future, but I finished that one up in a previous uh, lip project pan. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. This is the Lancome Juicy Tubes in Magic Spell. This came in a lip kit. This is the Jouer Lip Gloss in Skinny Dip. This is pretty pigmented, to be honest. Um, I don't use it a whole lot. I should play with it more and try and shear it out when I use it. Um, I just, I do avoid it a little bit because it is, it's fairly pigmented. I think I would like it a little bit better if it was more sheer. I don't know if I should maybe try and mix it with another one at some point. That's potential. If I ever buy those lip gloss containers. This is the Marc Jacobs, I think they call it the Enamored Lip Gloss Stick in Sugar Sugar. This is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat Lip Gloss in the shade uh, something Mocha. La Vida Mocha. It's <laughs> cute name. This is the second Sephora Glossy Gloss I have in the shade Chestnut. 
This is the Becca Chrissy Teigen lip gloss in Beach Bum. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm, uh, the original one. I don't know if the original one has a name. This is the Viseart Lip Shine in Fleur. This is the other Be Becca Christy Teigen lip gloss I have in Malibu Soleil. This is the Jouer, um, they actually call this the high pigment lip gloss and it is definitely a pigmented lip gloss. This is in the shade Sunset. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude lip gloss in the shade Heartbreaker. This is the Quo lip gloss in Secret Rendezvous. Again, I always find certain colors like this one, this super like fuchsia colors don't translate very well on the camera. This is a bit, looks it looks a bit more orangey red here. It's a bit more bright pink, I feel like. And the third Sephora glossy gloss I have is in Cocktail on the Beach. So now I'm gonna do some swatches. I'm probably gonna do them in sections. So I'll probably do like this section first, which would be real boring, but we're gonna do it anyway, um, just to see if there is any differences in the sort of clear ones. Um, then I'll do the pink ones, and then I'll do the beige ones, and then I'll do the sort of colorful or just ad hoc type ones. Some of these could maybe fit in another category, but we'll do those ones separately. Okay, here we are with some swatches, and you can kind of see some differences in these. Um, even though there are the, the sheer ones, so I'm trying to bend my arm to get some of the light on some of those clear ones. Um, this one is Millie. This one is Patrick Ta, and she's expensive. This one is the Too Faced Lip Injection. This one is the Rimmel Vinyl, so those are the two really clear ones. This one is the... Revlon Super Lustrous in Snow Pink, which actually is less pink than I feel like this one, which is in Sandstorm. I don't know, it's very, very sheer. And then this one is the ColourPop one in Partly Rowdy. So there are some differences there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, here are some swatches of the pink lip glosses. So this is the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects in Fever. I wish you could see the angle that I can see this from because it's definitely looking like a different color. So it's like a duochrome. I'll see if maybe I can take a picture at a different angle. This is the Revlon um, Lip Cream in, I think it was Barely Blush. This is the Tarte Lip Gloss in Sassy. This is the Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss in Peach Tea. This is the Bite Yaysayer lip gloss. This is the Sephora Berry Shake lip gloss. This is the Essence uh, Plumping lip gloss in That's Big. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous lip gloss in Supernatural. One of my favorite lip gloss formulas and I really like that shade. This is the Fenty Lip Gloss in Fussy, and then this is the Lancome Juicy Tube in... Sorry if the camera's moving. Harley's right there. Um, I forget the, the shade name of this. Magic Spell. That's it. So those are the pink lip glosses. So these are the ones that I sort of classify as like the beigey brown ones. So the first one is that Jouer lip gloss in Skinny Dip. That's actually more of like a gold one. This one is the Marc Jacobs, I think they called it the Enamored Lip Slick or something in Sugar Sugar. This one is the Wet n Wild lip gloss, the Copycat lip gloss in La Vida Mocha. So as you can hear Harley, he is anxious because he wants lunch and <laughs> I'm just trying to finish this section up. This is the Sephora Glossy Gloss in Chestnut. This is the Be Becca Lip Gloss with Chrissy Teigen in Beach Balm. And then this one is the Fenty Gloss Balm OG one. And this is the last category of lip glosses. These are the ones that are like more pigmented or brighter colors or deeper colors that just didn't seem to fit in the other categories. So this is the Vizier Lip Gloss in Heartbreaker. This is the Becca Chrissy Teigen Lip Gloss in Malibu Soleil. This is the Jouer Lip Gloss in Sunset. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss. Oh, that one might be Heartbreaker. No, that one is Yes, that one is Heartbreaker. This is Fleur. There we go. That's Fleur. The Gen Nude one is Heartbreaker. This is the Tarte, I think they call it Lip Glassy Paint in WCW. 
This is the Quo Lip Gloss, and I don't even know if I did mention that one in my <laughs> walkthrough the first time around um, of each item. This is the Quo Lip Gloss in Secret Rendezvous, and then this is the Sephora Lip Gloss, uh, Glossy Gloss in Cocktail on the Be Beach. So there are those swatches right there. So if you can see, you can kind of see it there. The, the yellow mark on my arm is somehow a fading bruise. I don't even remember getting a bruise there in the first place. Anybody else like that? Just random bruises everywhere? <laughs> okay, let's talk lip gloss numbers. So in 2020, I had 22 lip glosses. In 2021, I had 27. And in 2022, I have 30. <laughs> This is definitely, I feel like, way too many for one person. I, I have a problem with lip glosses, and I realize I have a problem with I can't use them up as fast as I want to try new ones. <laughs> I don't know how to rectify that situation. Um, I know I need to get this down. I know I need to use some of these up. That's the plan this year. This is just a really hard category for me to keep under control because I love lip glosses so much. So anyway, yeah. Like all of these products, I'd say there's maybe two or three here that I could declutter. They're maybe not the favorites, but honestly, I really do like most of these. Here we are with the lip bullet type collection. So these are all like lipstick, like traditional lipstick style bullets. I do have stuff that are like the lippy sticks and stuff. I don't feel like those are a traditional lipstick size or shape. So they are in another category just for ease of splitting some of this stuff up. Um, but yeah, these are what I consider all my lipstick, my bullet lipsticks. So what I'm actually going to do this time around is I'm going to just start swatching. Like I'm going to swatch them and then talk about each individual one as I show the swatches. I think I have these roughly. I've been swatching like crazy. My arm is like my, I was swatching on my left arm, but I'll do like my right arm in the video. But yeah, I've been trying to figure out a certain order. So these are sort of like the nudes into sort of the brownie nudes. Then these are like the pinks into sort of like the mauvey pinks into like the purples. These are the brights. And then these are the reds. Here's some swatches of the top row, and yes, I am cold. It's really cold here today. Um, some of these are going to be hard to see. Um, so these first two that are really hard to see are sort of like topper shades. They're these two Ole Vole ones I have. This one is in Silver Slipper, and this one is in Bronze Goddess. This is the NARS Orgasm. I don't know like the line or what they call this, but again, it's kind of like a sheer topper sort of thing. Um, it came in a lip kit. This one right here is a sort of a one-off one that I have from Shiseido. I don't know the actual shade name. Um, it's in my sheet somewhere, but it's P21 is the number. This one is White Beauty Honeycomb. This one is, so this was a nice little surprise that I discovered. This one is um, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And then this one that I really love is the Rimmel uh, Lipstick in Paradise. I feel like they're actually fairly similar. Now they're a different type, like this one is matte, this one isn't, um, but it's nice that I have these shades that are really similar, particularly because I was getting sad of using the Paradise one because I like it so much, but now I kind of understand why I like these so much. Like these are my favorite kind of shades and I think it's kind of obvious they're sort of like rosy brown nudes like that's my really my favorite kind of lip shade this one is a mac lipstick in Boca. again another favorite here this is mac lipstick in velvet teddy so again like this is kind of like my favorite favorite kind of nude this is the maybelline lipstick in bare reveal this is the new one that i got from wayne goss in dahlia i think you can see like how orangey that one is. I'm kind of disappointed that it's so orangey to be honest. Um, this is a Bite Beauty lipstick in Chai. This is the Huda Beauty, I don't know the line, but it's the matte lipstick in Interview. And then this is the Urban Decay lipstick in 1993. So those are like the nudie shades that I have. Nudies, nudie browns. Here are swatches of the middle row. It's kind of awkward. I started on my hand because I thought I was going to run out of room on my arm. That's not, did not happen. I have all this other room. Um, and yes, it's still cold. <laughs> Sorry about that. It looks so weird. Um, anyway, 
from left to right here, we kind of started in the pinks, warmer pinks, and then moving into like purpley pinks and then purples. Um, I feel like they are showing a little warmer on camera. It's probably my camera settings. Um, but anyway, starting from the end here, these ones don't have names. This is a color workshop. It's the pink one that I was using in my project pan from last year. This one is a Rimmel lipstick. I think it's called It's the One type lipstick, something like that, and it's a keeper. So this is Marc Jacobs Slow Burn. This is a Rimmel, or sorry, an Essence Matte Matte Matte, which I don't think exists anymore. I think this is 03. This is a CoverGirl Vintage Wine. Again, it doesn't exist anymore. Most of my, I'd say at least half my collection doesn't exist anymore. This is uh, Maybelline Touch Up Spice. This one right here is that Tarte Sassy, the lipstick side. This one right here is uh, Bite Beauty Rhubarb. This one is Bite Beauty Pepper. This is an oddball one, it's an old one. It's from CoverGirl in Silver Plum. This one is the NYX Pin Up Pout in Almost Famous. This is one of the new ones that I got. This is the Wet n Wild, um, is it Rose Slay? Rose and Slay or something like that. This one is Mac and a Cocktail Kiss that came in like a Christmas holiday set. This is a sheer, another color workshop one. It's like a sheer purple color. This one is an Essence Matte 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 in 07. And then this is Maybelline in Blissful Berry. So I mean, at least from swatching, I'm kind of happy that this category, everything's fairly unique. There's not a whole lot of similarity, which is at least, for me, that's a good thing. And here are swatches of the bottom row of products, sort of the brights and the reds. Again, an area that I definitely keep to a minimum because I'm just not a bright lipstick person. So this is the first one that I have down here, which is the Measurable Difference Unveil Sheer Moisturizing Lipstick in Tango Popsicle. I don't know the names of most of these, so I'm gonna have to look at them. This one is the what do you call it? Revlon Lip Butter in Wild Watermelon. This one is this guy, which is, I don't even know what brand this is, Bella Pierre. That's the Bella Pierre one in Sassy. I'm not sure if I was calling the Tarte one Sassy. It's called Sass, but I have one Sass and I have two Sassies. I think my lip products are trying to tell me something. This one is a L'Oreal. I don't know like the line of this. I'll put it on the screen. It's in Plushed Tango, I think. This is a Givenchy lipstick in Rose Dressing. This is a matte, matte, matte lipstick in 04. This is the Sephora Collection Cancer lipstick, um, the Astrology Sign one. This is a limited edition Bite Beauty lipstick in, I think they call it Toronto, something like that. Um, this is the Color Workshop, just the regular red color. Um, this is the Urban Decay 714, I think. And then this one is a Rimmel lipstick um, in the shade Temptation. So again, don't wanna have too many in this range because I don't really wear these colors very often at all. Okay, let's talk numbers. So bullet lipsticks, I had 41 in 2020. I had 42 last year. And this year, I also have 42. So I know I haven't used, I don't think I've used any bullet lipsticks, but I've not added, I think I've added maybe two and I must have decluttered two, something like that. Like it's been just sort of like decluttering a couple of items um, and bringing in a couple items. So again, pretty steady in this category, which I need it to be steady. I need it to go down, to be honest. This is a handful too many, I say that, but I mean, I did the swatches and I'm like, there is a lot of variety as well. Um, I mean, maybe not so much in the nudes, but I feel like a lot of the shades are, are different. Um, but again, how, how many different pinks do I need, to be honest, or how many different um, nudie brown pinks do I need? So yeah, I definitely would like this to go lower, but based on my last three years of numbers and based on my preferences, I don't really see this category getting super small um but yeah i'd like to make sure i stay under 50 for sure definitely don't want to go over 50 in this category because i cannot finish a bullet, bullet lipstick to save my life like it is so hard <laughs> so i'm definitely not finishing these at any good rate okay this is sort of my like 
other <laughs> lip category. These things just don't fit neatly into the other groups that I already have. Um, I technically could put a lot of these in with like bullet lipsticks, like the lippy sticks could technically fit in with the bullet lipsticks. Some of these products are kind of sheer, could have been in the lip balms, but anyway, these are just sort of like ad hoc. I don't know where to go with them. These two are liquefied lipsticks, but again, when I think of some of those lip glosses that are high pigmented, they're basically the same thing. So this is just sort of where these things fell. Um, just didn't put them in another category. So I've got these sort of organized by shades. So these are the light shades. These are like the pinks. And then I've got a couple of reds, three reds down here in the end. So I'm gonna swatch all these on my arm and then I'll talk about each individual item. Okay, here we are with the swatches of these products. This is evidence of, I didn't sort of do any pre-swatching and trying to figure out a sort order. I just did like a package sort order and clearly not, did not do a great job. But anyway, let's just go through these products. So over here, I have the product on the end. It's a Shiseido like lip thing. And it's, I don't know if you can see there, it's like bluey, purpley. I don't know, it's really, really interesting. This is the Hourglass Lip Stilo in Futurist. This is the Nude Lipstick in Haven. This is the Revlon HD Lipstick in HD Sand. So this is the shade Reach High in that um, Maybelline crayon, the ink crayon. This one right here is Brink from ColourPop. This one right here is Parker. It's interesting to see. I always thought Brink was a bit more brown, but it's kind of a turning, showing a pinky brown. This brown is um, Sassy from ColourPop. This is the Tarte Lip Surgeon in Nurturing. This one is the Nude Sticks lipstick in Sorry, I had to look up the shade name. That's in Kiss. This one is the, this guy right here, L'Oreal Infallible, uh, what do you call it? Lipstick in, that's that one right here. Nudes, lipstick in Nude Star. This is the Smashbox, it's a liquefied lipstick. I think it's in the shade Wifey. This one right here is the little pot sample from Purinata in Sugar Plum. This one right here is ColourPop in Songbird. This is the L'Oreal Lilac in Blackie Charm. This one right here is the Trustique in, I think it's English Rose. This one right here is the ColourPop, um, doesn't exist anymore, uh, Sheer Formula in Juice Bar. This is the Julep Plush Pout in Cardinal. Again, another one of those ColourPop uh, sheer formulas in Peacocky. And then this one is, I don't know the name of the line, it's the Slim Lipsticks from Hourglass in Secretly. So again, I know I should like do some swatching of these against the lipsticks, like the bullet lipsticks, because there's definitely dupes in here, even against some of the lip glosses. I bet you there are some duplicates in some of the shades, but these are sort of the differently shaped or just different types of products, but still kind of similar in um, to the other products. And for example, like this right here from Piranata, this was a sample, the Sugar Plum sample. This is actually like a bullet lipstick. I just, I don't have the bullet, I just have the sample. So numbers, so for this section, the crayon or other section, in 2020, I had 18. In 2021, I had 16. And this year I have 20. So that one's gone up by four. Okay, here we are with the lip liners. Um, this category, I think, has definitely grown. I haven't done the count just yet. Um, I've tried to organize these a little bit uh, by like sort of nudes, brownie nudes, pinks, brighter pinks, and then purpley pink kind of thing. So I'm gonna do what I've done with some of the other sections. I'm just gonna swatch them all first, and then I'll talk about each item through the swatches. Okay, nice little rainbow of swatches we have here. So just kind of going from the lighter nude ones to the more colorful ones. So this is Milani in 03 Nude. This is ColourPop in the little one. This is not in focus, there we go. This is Milani in 04 All Natural. This is the Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude. 
This one right here is Annabelle in Spice. This one right here is ColourPop in Field Day. This one that's like a bit smudged at the bottom here. A little, uh, I'm swatching this on my right arm, but I'm actually right-handed, so it's, it's a bit interesting. This one is in Button. This first darker brown one is in Grunge. This one is the Bodyography one in Black Current. This one right here is Dirty Little Secret in Rosy Posy. This one right here, the brighter pink one, is Nick, uh, yeah, NYX in Bed Rose. This one right here is one of the Color Workshop ones. Um, it's just sort of like a pink color. Do I have these in the right order? Did I miss one? So I goofed, um, so hopefully you can see this. The one that I squished in there between the dark one and the next one that's really similar, that one is a Dirty Little Secret in Rosy Posy. And then the one that's right next to it that's really similar is NYX in Bed Rose. And then these two brighter ones are the Color Workshop ones, these two right here. Um, this one's like a bright pink kind of fuchsia type fluorescent pink and then this one's like more of a more of a fuchsia type pink. It's showing up a bit red on the camera for some reason, but it's definitely more fuchsia pink. Fuchsia pinks just never seem to show up on my camera properly. This one is NYX in Rosy Sunset. This one is NYX in Plush Red. This one that's right next to it, it's kind of looking orangey. That's the NYX uh, Kitten Heels. So again, a lot of people are saying to sharpen it. I did sharpen it and it was a bit rough. I think it was kind of my lips. I think my lips were maybe had some lip balm on them. Once I sharpen it down a bit more, I definitely, I, I get a little bit of pigment, but it's still not the same as the other ones. Although to its credit, it does last pretty long. So there's that. But you can see between these two reds, I still don't have a red that I'm looking for. This is a, sorry, it's really hard. They're really close together. Plush red is a bit of a pinky red. It's not too bad, but it is pinker. Again, it's not showing up quite as pink on camera. Um, and Kitten Heels is a little more orangey than I wanted it to be. So anyway, still looking for a better red lip liner, but I think I just need to like take a break from looking for them. Um, this one is the NYX Lip Liner in Bloom. This one is one of those Color Workshop ones. It's one I call purple pink because it's like a purpley pink. Um, this one right here is ColourPop in, oh, what's it called, Contempo. That's one that I'm almost done with. And then this one here on the end is the Steve Laurent one in Vogue. So there are the swatches of all my lip liners. Probably too many brownie nude ones. I need to kind of work on some of those and work them out. Um, but for the most part, not too bad. So as mentioned at the beginning, the numbers have definitely increased in this one. So in 2020, I had 17. In 2021, I have 18. And then this year, I have 20. So I've gone up from two from last year. Here are my liquid lipsticks. There's a couple in here that are maybe not quite as dry down as some others. Specifically, that's the DSL, DSL, DLS. I think it's Dirty Little Secret one. And then this one that's from... I think it's Meme Box, maybe? It's the mystery one down here. They're not quite full on liquid lipstick, but they're close enough to fit in this category, I feel like. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do again is just go through and swatch them. I did try and like pre-swatch a little bit and put them in a bit of an order, but it's actually really hard to put these in an order, I feel like, because they are all kind of quite different. Um, but yeah, I'll just swatch them out and then we will talk through each one. I will mention that I would say my favorite formula is the Maybelline one and then the Ofra one. I do quite like the Ofra ones. Okay, here we are with, it's almost like a rainbow of swatches here, but you can see a lot of these at the front are fairly similar and that's the bottom row is right here where things are sort of brighter and some of the reds. Um, okay, so we'll start from here. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in Seductress. This is Jeffree Star in Doll Parts. This is Maybelline in Lover. This is Maybelline in Ruler. This is Maybelline in Santa Ana. Then I've got these four sort of metallic-y kind of ones. This one is Ofra in, sorry, right here. Where am I? Right here. This one is Ofra in Santorini. This one is, no, sorry. That's Monaco. Make sure we get some light on these. 
This one is ColourPop and Wolfie. It's one of those things that I can't get rid of. I do really like the shade too, but I always thought it was kind of cute that I had a nail polish in Clara and I had a, lips a liquid lipstick in Wolfie and that was my cats, two cats that I had together. Um, this one is a CoverGirl one in Plum Berry. This one is Santorini from Ofra. This one is Tutu from Dirty Little Secret. This is the Sugar Pill one in Lala. This is Jeffree Star in Drug Lord. This is the Sugar Pill in Kiki. It's showing up a little bit more blue on camera. It's definitely more of a teal, um, more green than blue. I think sometimes too with the colors next to each other, they sort of throw things off a little. This one is, I don't know the shade of this one. This one is Mistletoe from Jeffree Star. This is the Sola Look uh, Brenda Loves Dylan one. This one is Stila Besso. That one's Jeffree Star in Ho Ho Ho. Again, I feel like next to each other, they're kind of showing a little differently. Like this one's looking a little more orangey, but it's not really that orangey. Um, these two, I could have swatched these two closer to the other ones because it does fit, but I wanted to put them over here. This one is in Androgyny from Jeffree Star. And then this is the one from the Samantha March collection. Did she call her a story? And I wanted to put them together here because they are actually quite similar. They look quite similar. The Androgyny is maybe a bit more purpley. Um, but yeah, when you put the Androgyny one with these ones, it does kind of fit closer to some of these. But when I have them together, I'm like, wow, they are quite similar. And then this last one here is the Meme Box uh, Mystery Blur Tint in Mystery Persimmon. Hope I said that correctly. So yeah, those are all my liquid lipstick swatches. So numbers for liquid lipsticks. In 2020, I had 30. In 2021, I had 25. And this year I have 20. So I'm really happy about that. I do wanna keep moving this category down. Although I know it will be kind of large because I have these sort of interesting ones uh, that I don't plan on decluttering anytime soon. Um, I do, it's fun to play with them. I actually have a video of trying on the Jeffree Star ones and the Sugar Pill ones if you wanna see that. If you want to see a laugh too because man some of them look real weird um but yeah like i kind of just need to make sure i keep this sort of in rain um i don't want to have too many in that sort of i was testing trying to figure out order swatches um i don't want to have too many in this area like nudes I, I could probably go for a couple more nudes but at the same time if i'm going with nudes i'm gonna go with like a lipstick i actually do really want to buy the gwen stefani one um, that one is on my radar and I might buy it because I feel like it is, it might be similar to Besso, but I'm not 100% sure if it really is that close to Besso or not. Um, but yeah. So from a lip product perspective, so my glosses, my liquid lipsticks, my bullets, and then that other category. In 2020, I had 111. In 2021, I had 110. And in 2022, I have 94. So yay. <laughs> I'm somehow down by 16. Not 100% sure how that happened. Um, I'm guessing it was mostly, probably half declutter. And then I think I had, a, I had a handful of finished items last year, like maybe three or four. Um, but yeah, I've definitely been trying to keep the lip products under 100. I So mentally, like number wise, 50 sounds good. But then when I actually like pull all these products out and I start swatching them and playing with them, I'm like, yeah, I, there's very few that I feel like I could actually declutter out of this. Um, like I could maybe declutter 10 out of all of those categories at most. Um, so it still doesn't get me down to like close to 50. So again, I kind of just try and be reasonable with myself with these, with my lip product category. I know it's going to be a large part of my collection. I'm okay with that. And I've talked about this before. If I were to declutter, just say I say to myself, I'm going to declutter half of the collection. I know myself that mentally that gives me room to buy 50 more products. <laughs> I just know that. I know that's how I will react. So that's one of the reasons why I don't quickly declutter these type of items because I'm just going to replace them. I'm just going to have a large collection. So I might as well keep using what I have as long as possible. Um, before I like keep adding more. Again, I will buy others. There's stuff that I want. I really want to buy Lisa Eldridge um, lipstick. 
Like I said, I've been looking at the Gwen Stefani one maybe, um, but yeah, just, I know lip products is an area that's always gonna be a large part of my collection. Like how other people have really large eyeshadow collections. And we all have like parts of our makeup collection that we, we love to try different products and have different products and have all the colors. Uh, for me, that's lip products. All right, I've gone through and added everything up. So I added up all my blush, bronzers, eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadows, uh, like singles, mascaras, lipsticks, all that kind of stuff. I, like I said, I didn't add up individual items within palettes, so I'm not adding up like total bronzers, including ones that are in palettes. So total numbers, in 2020, I had 445 items. In 2021, I had 472 items. And currently, I have 450, or sorry, 500. And 21. <laughs> so yeah, that's gone up quite a bit. It's gone up uh, 49 items since last year. Ooh, that's windy. Um, and 76 items over the past two years. So that's quite a lot. Um, I mean, that's over every category, but. So that wraps up my makeup inventory collection for 2022. I'm kind of exhausted. I don't know about you, um, but I think it's really good for me to go through this and really see everything. It is a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie, but one of the reasons why I do it is because of that, because I know if I add to my collection, that makes it more work. And we need to just be mindful that can't just keep adding, I need to also use what I have as well. It's actually given me some ideas for maybe doing some get ready with me videos in the future and using some of my existing products. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. I, I haven't done a get ready with me in a while, but yeah, I'm thinking of maybe doing some, you know, just getting ready with makeup with some different themes in mind, um, like maybe older products or a specific brand or specific color family. Um, yeah, that's some maybe future planned videos. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Harley says bye too. <laughs>